Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to ASVAB Weekly. Uh, today we have another question that comes from the arithmetic reasoning section. And it talks about a bread recipe. Okay, the bread recipe actually requires... It requires... How many? Four and three quarters. Four and three fourths. But we only have three and one eighth cups. So the recipe requires, but we only have three and one eighth. Okay. This is a simple, well, I won't call it simple because some of you guys have problems with fractions, so I won't call it simple. But I have a surefire way of solving this, okay? So. We require four and three quarters, but we only have three and one eighth. We are going to have to subtract three and one eighth from three, four and three quarters, and we're going to see how much more flour we need. Okay, so I'll erase that. Require, but we have. Okay, so basically, what I would do over here is I would put in four and three fourths minus three and one eighth. And this is going to tell us how much more flour is needed. Okay, so let me erase that for a while. Now, what we need to do, and I'll just put R for required and have here our EQ, what we have. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at this fraction and we'll look at this fraction and we're going to have to find a common denominator. Forget about the 4 and the 3 for right now. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to turn 3 fourths into eighths. Okay, so that's our first step. We're going to turn 3 fourths into an equivalent fraction, but at the end we want to have eighths. So what we need to do is we got to look at the denominator. This is the numerator and this is the de denominator. And what we need to say is, how are we going to make 4, 8? And what do we do to the 4 to make 8? Well, we have to multiply by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have to do whatever we do in the denominator, we have to do in the numerator or the top number. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So now we have 6 eighths. So now our new problem is going to look like 4 and 6 eighths minus 3 and 1 eighth. And basically 6 minus 1, the, numer the denominators are not subtracted. The numerators and the whole numbers are, though. Um, just to get an idea, this is the numerator, the denominator, and the whole number. So. Sorry, I got stuff falling all over the place. So, 6 minus 1 is going to be 5. The denominator is going to come down. And the 4 minus 3 is going to be 1. And that is our answer. Uh, 1 and 5 eighths. And what I should have done that I didn't do was uh, put down our options. A was actually 2 and 7 eighths. B was 7 eighths. C was... 1 and 5 eighths, our answer, and D was 5 eighths. Okay, so um, just looking at that, I guess using the process of elimination, once we got here, we could have just said it's going to take at least a cup, at least a cup, or roughly a cup. So B and D would have been eliminated in the process of elimination. And for the test, that's what you're going to have to really be good at. Or you're going to try your best to be good at executing the bad questions. Just seeing the bad uh, answers they have out there and just throwing them out the door. So um, answer C is our answer. One in five eighths. One in five eighths of uh, we need more. A cup and five eighths more flour because we only have three and one eighths on hand in order to satisfy the recipe. So that's it. Keep watching, subscribe, continue to watch. This is Asbab Weekly. Thanks. Good night.